A family in Adams Morgan sent their dog to the groomer, but their pet never made it home alive. Fox 5's Natalie Rubino was in Northwestern tells us that business is now under investigation. It happened here at Life of Riley Groomers. Matthew Knopp tells me he brought his dog Stardust here earlier this month to have two nails clipped. But 30 minutes later, a technician came running out, handing him his dog's body. And then all of a sudden, he comes running out of the room, telling, you know, Sir, 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 there's something wrong with your dog. Sir, your dog's having a seizure. Sir, your dog's having a seizure. And, you know, at that point, I'm just like, what, what, do, you, what do you mean my dog's having a seizure? What? Like, what's wrong with my dog? Knopp says Stardust was a little anxious when he brought her to get her to do nails clipped. But that's not unusual. You know, she's a nervous dog. I explained to her, hey, look, she's re really, really anxious. She's been this way since she's been a puppy. He waited in the lobby, just like he's done in the past, but knew something was odd when the tech came running out of the room towards the upstairs. A gentleman came running out of the grooming area and went, went running upstairs. So I was sitting there and I was like, as he ran by me, he kind of said, has your dog never had her nails trimmed before? And I, and it, didn't really register that like her, her, you know, she's just getting two nails. And I said, yeah, she's got her, uh, she got trimmed here, you know, just kind of in passing though. Knopp still didn't think much of it until the man came back down, went into the room where Stardust was, and then came running out again. So I kind of run up to him. He just puts her in my arms, just kind of like, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, Stardust, Stardust, you know, I'm trying to get her, you know, trying to see, and, and she's, there's nothing there. She's just, there's nothing there. She's, her tongue's blue and purple. It's hanging out of her, out of her mouth. There's no life in her. She's just, it's like if somebody put like a wet rag on your, on your arms. They ran down the street to the vet, but it was too late. Stardust was dead. And, you know, I'm like, what did you do to my dog? And, you know, I, you know we didn't do anything. We didn't do, and, I, and I'm just like, what happened to my dog? And in a statement, Life of Riley told Fox 5 the dog died of a heat stroke. We are devastated, they wrote, that this happened, and our hearts and condolences go out to the dog's family. We at Life of Riley remain committed to the health and safety of every pet in our care, and this heartbreaking event is a reminder to us all about the impact this summer heat has on our furry friends. We take this event very seriously, and will continue to investigate how the beloved pet passed away so unexpectedly. But Knopp says that can't be true, especially since he only walked her half a block to get there. He also said he noticed after she died that every nail but the two they wanted trimmed were cut extremely short and uneven. Thing we're just kind of up, you know, kind of lost and just trying to figure out what happened. Like what, what went wrong in this room where she was there for two nails and now she's not alive. He says the family, including Stardust's sister Ziggy, is left with a huge void. It's 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 awful. I don't want it to happen to anyone else. I don't want anyone to have to feel what I felt that morning. It's it's the worst. I can't even, I can't put it up with any other feeling I've ever felt. Knopp's post on next door has dozens of comments from people who have also had issues here. The Humane Rescue Alliance is investigating. Back to you.